Welcome back to another dope edition of Expert Yogurt Review. I'm your host, Nick Arnott, and on today, it's a late night episode. We're at the other half of the day. I typically do these in the morning. Tonight, we have a very special uh, experience because we're going to do a yogurt review. Um, it's Right now, it's 1.08 in the morning. You guys know what time it is. It's time for a yogurt review. Uh, on today's episode, we have a really special uh, treat called brown cow um whole milk yogurt this is the cherry vanilla flavor uh, i'm looking forward to it i've never had this and uh looking to uh to really go for it now um one thing i'll say um, kind of out of the gate is that you know they kind of have like this right right here it says cream top and uh, on the back here they say our original cream top yogurt is rich and satisfying because we use only whole milk um, so I'm um, you know I'm excited about that sweetened with cane sugar honey maple syrup and made without the use of artificial growth hormones now similar to um, Siggy's this also has a um, a wrapper that comes off I usually don't like to reveal these because I like to leave it, you know, exciting for anybody who's trying this. Um, but, you know, this is cool. You can kind of see the color there. This looks really, from a color perspective, I love what I'm seeing. Um, really exciting. Cherry vanilla. And then in here we have, uh, let's see, a little like a... Uh, you know, story on how they're non-GMO. So great. Let's um let's open this up tonight and uh, let's dive right in. Interesting kind of separation here. Nothing to worry about. Wow, that smells really nice. I'm I'm actually a big fan of cherry and vanilla as a mix, and this smells really delicious. Um, looks really great. Fruit looks real. Smells amazing. Um, normally, I don't like to stir it up. I like to kind of get the flavors broken up by themselves, but I feel like this one's kind of made to be stirred a little bit. So I haven't fully stirred it. As you can see, I've left a lot on the bottom, but I kind of want to just get it this top layer here. Let's, um, let's try this. That's delightful. Um, I feel like they really nailed it on it being creamy. The vanilla and the cherry is a really pleasant mix. That's delightful. Mm. I honestly can't think of a better yogurt for the late night experience than this. Um, things I really like it about it is the texture is feeling really great. Um, the flavor is phenomenal. It's creamy, it's delicious. It doesn't feel overly sweet. It doesn't feel overly tart for a cherry. We're going to kind of reach down into the bottom here, get some of that kind of cherry flavor and see what we're dealing with. Real cherries. That is a very welcomed experience. They don't feel candied or anything. It feels like an actual piece of cherry, fresh cherry, right inside of the yogurt. Um, very welcomed, very delicious. Mm. Um, you know, for 
for one, I was I was kind of skeptical of the whole milk kind of you know situation. I was afraid it might be a little too rich. A lot of people try to eat yogurt as a kind of non-fat or low-fat alternative to uh, you know other breakfast items. Um, but you know this is one serving; it's 160 calories. It's a pretty good little meal <laughs> in and of itself. Um, but if you're looking for a meal replacement, well, I'm not a nutritionist, so I can tell you. But if you're trying to pack in 160 quick calories, this is a certainly way to do it. I don't want to bore you guys with the rest, but um, really happy with uh, with with this one. It's a very welcomed treat to the end of the night, and uh, just really pleasant. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to give this a um, 7.9. Uh, knock it out of the park. Delicious. Um, Flavorful, creamy, warm with the vanilla. Yeah, it can say uh, enough nice things. That's great. Well, I hope you guys had a great uh, time because I know I did. I hope I was able to take you on a culinary journey that you won't soon forget. Again, I'm Nick Arnott. Thank you guys so much for spending just a small portion of your life with me. And um, yeah. Stay creamy.